Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to have a look at the sales that are available. Please like, subscribe, all that jazz. And without further ado, let's rock and roll. The first game we're going to have a look at is Aragami Shadows Edition. This one I have played, I actually own it. It's really good. There's a lot of stealth mechanics involved. You actually move in the shadows and unlock some really cool power-ups. Next we have Curse of the Dead Gods, which is one I've been keeping an eye out for. It gives me a lot of Hades vibes. It's had really good Metacritic reviews and it has a twist on the gameplay mechanic where I believe the powers are actually curses. There are currently no sales at the moment for Death Run TV in Canada or the US, but I suggest you pick it up as soon as you can. It's a very fun roguelike, kind of like Enter the Gungeon with great music. I was really looking forward to Foreclose, but it had a few issues within the gameplay. Having said that, it's not a bad pickup for £3.74 over here in the UK. Mark from Sweatshop reviewed this game. I'll leave a link so you can have a look. Monster Harvest was a game I was really looking forward to. It came out in an abysmal state. However, it's had a few patches ever since, so it's worth picking up for £3.24. It's cheaper than Happy Meal, and you know what? You can't go wrong. Hopefully, it's been fixed. Morbid the Seven Acolytes is a love letter to Lovecraftian horrors mixed with action RPG. I wanted to get this one physically, but alas, I didn't get the chance to do so, so I'm happy to pick it up for £4.99. A sequel is in development. Our friends over at Super Rare Games are publishing Post Void that has a very cool mechanic. It's a first person shooter where the only way to live is to keep killing to stop the health idol from running out. I've played this and it definitely keeps the adrenaline pumping. <music> Lastly, we have Sword of the Necromancer. I reviewed this game on the channel. I'll leave a link somewhere down in the description. I really enjoyed it for £3.37 over here in the UK. It's not a bad pickup and I recommend it to anyone who is interested. You basically revive your enemies and use them to your advantage. If you want to pick up the Nixie Wizard, which is the GameCube controller, you can use our affiliate link in the description. Use coupon code GRINNY for 10% off. It would help us massively as well. Thank you for watching, everyone. Let me know what you think about the games we've selected and stay safe. Peace.